Our classrooms in crisis story on school bus drivers getting attacked by students is one of the most viewed stories on KGW.com right now. KGW investigative reporter Kristen Severance has been answering a lot of emails and comments all week. We knew you'd get a lot of those. Yes. And you're also here to explain a little bit about the law. Yes. Yeah, so one question that we heard uh, people were wondering about, you know, can these drivers restrain students? Why or why not? And what are the laws really surrounding this? So let's start with the case of the Vancouver bus driver. So we we showed you video of a Vancouver bus driver obtained through a public records request of driver Jeanette Weaver getting attacked by an eight year old with special needs. Now, per state law and district policy, she could touch the student in this incident. There was no law preventing her from putting her hands on the girl. However, you know, Jeanette was still hesitant to do so and really worried about hurting the girl. She explains what was going through her mind during the attack. Not to hurt her the whole time. Don't hurt her. If I hurt her, I'll probably be the one in trouble. Don't hurt her. Even though she had kicked me, was trying to bite me. Uh, I mean, at one point I felt like pushing her on the seat and sitting on her, but then I thought, you'll hurt her. Don't hurt her. And that, I think, was how the stress level just kept building. Such a stressful situation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she did not get in trouble or disciplined for how she handled this. She hopes by talking about this, it will lead to change, including getting, you know, additional paraeducators on the buses. What about Oregon, though? What about the laws here? Okay, so the Oregon laws, you may remember this. We talked a lot about this ever since our very first Classrooms in Crisis story in February. So, this was a big part of our investigative series. We told you that teachers told us they could not touch a student unless there was a threat of imminent serious bodily harm and it was all because of how a state law passed in 2011 that dealt with restraints and isolation rooms was being interpreted. So educators were having to do things like clear classrooms during an outburst or guide students to safety without touching them. We talked a lot about that and it was not working. So after months of these stories and talking about this, legislators did fix that. They passed a law, the Safe Classrooms Bill. So now, you know, school staff members can physically assist students to safety. So, so in now, some cases may be helpful. Yes, it may be helpful. So, you know, in both states, Oregon and Washington, you know, student staff members, educators, they are able to touch students. Well, nobody should have to work under conditions like some of the bus drivers have been talking about. Oh, absolutely not. And I think there's going to be a lot more to come. All of these stories elicit such a strong response. And it just, it tells me that we need to keep going. You're on to something for sure. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Kristen. You if bet. you have a story idea for Kristen to investigate, give her a call. Here's the number, 503-226-5041. Or you can email callkristen at kgw.com.